I'm going to explain how to record media notes live from Ableton into Sibelius. You can do this in any kind of DAW. And we're going to start, I'm, I'm doing this on Mac, so in Mac you need to set up an IAC driver. You need to create some kind of MIDI link between these two programs. And before we start, I know that you can export this MIDI and download it or import it in Sibelius, but I want to have a quick workflow where I can have these nodes into Sibelius and then, and then change these nodes and then record them again and, you know, be, be like flexible. So step one, set up an IAC driver, this thing. If you want to know how to do this, there's a link in the description below because there's already like 100 million videos about this topic. Then if you have this set up, you make sure you have a MIDI instrument. I've chosen a guitar for the Ableton and then I've chosen a piano for the Sibelius so I know which sound is coming from where, which is handy when you're setting this up. So just choose two different sounds. Then you set up a second MIDI channel, which is called to IAC. You go to your MIDI preferences. So here the link tempo MIDI section. You check in the output section if there is IAC and make sure that track is on on the output section. Also sync, well, you can leave sync off. I will explain to you later why I have this on. If you don't see IAC, then you have done something wrong or maybe you need to restart Ableton. Just make sure that you see this because otherwise you can't proceed. So IAC as an output here in this MIDI track. So we have two MIDI tracks. Actually, we don't need these audio tracks, so we can just take those out. So these are the two things we're working with. Then we go to Sibelius, that's the next thing, and we wanna to go to node input and input devices and make sure that here you see IAC, the same bus one. You can just check to find new input devices or maybe you need to also restart, but it needs to show up here. Now we have a connection between Ableton and Sibelius. So now we want to make sure that Sibelius understands what we're doing. So we go to node input again, flexi time, and here we can work on these settings. I chose non rubato just to make sure that to have it as straight as possible. Let's put this on one bar for now. Um, this is the count in, so like how many times you hear the click track, how many bars before it actually starts recording. Then uh, you can record multiple voices. You can check this section and just make sure that the settings are right for you. It just needs some figuring out. The notation, I've chosen the minimal duration of uh, 16 notes. I really advise if you don't use 30 second notes, just use the, the minimum duration of your piece or your music. I don't use triplets for now, so if you don't need this, you can put them in here. And also keep these on none if you're not using quintuplets or sixtuplets or whatever, because it's going to look, uh, yeah, well, it, it will might think that you are playing a quintuplet or something. All right, this you can figure out just by trial and error. So now it understands what we are doing. Then we want to open the transport menu and make sure that this guy's on. The, uh, you can also go to play here, play in a live tempo. So the conductor needs to be on because we want to record it live. And then one other thing we need to do still is make sure that Sibelius understands the delay of Ableton. So normally you use this by playing live, right? And now basically we are playing live, but Ableton is doing it for us. So we go to calibrate and then we see this section, we choose MIDI keyboard. And then in Ableton, you wanna make sure that you make one MIDI file in the IAC to IAC MIDI track and make sure that there are quarter notes. It can only be, yeah, it's fine if it's one line, actually it's better if it's one line, just take this out. Just make one line of quarter notes and make sure that you quantize this. So quantize settings to quarter notes. Apply, so that you know it's really straight. 
then we need to do this manually so we are going to do start calibration and then i'm going to listen to the click track and hit the space bar at the right moment now we see input signal coming into sibelius and now it's calculating our delay so you see i'm a professional percussionist only 26 milliseconds delay this is great um yeah, it can be more it's 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 not that accurate but you just want to make sure that it's not uh, ridiculous long actually now we're good to go so i have my sound in this midi track so i can hear my guitar sound but if i mute this you can still hear a piano sound right because this is sending the midi now here to this instrument but i also want to hear my guitar sound because it's very cool Then we're going to record, and that's the last step, is make sure that your play bar is at the right spot. You have chosen your uh, count in. Now it's one bar, so if we're, we're going to record from bar two actually now, but we just listen. Oh, before I forget, super important, make sure your tempo is set to the same BPM. So quarter note is 100. I have here also 100. Um, and make sure that if you have a piece with different meters or something, make sure that it's the same in Ableton as here. And then you really need to make sure that that your count in is correct. That you, yeah, you will figure this out by trial and error. It took me also a little bit of time. And then make sure that this one is set on none. So uh, command zero. Because we need to do this manually. We're going to click on record. And there you see, it's recording. It's very nice that this works actually. Um, I also recorded some 16 notes. These are actually quantized, so you can see that they are quite accurate. I hope. No, it's actually eight notes. Oh, there are the 16s. And these are not quantized. So, well, you can play around with this, and I guess here you can use this rubato function also if it's you if you really play around or if you have something that is played by someone and you need to record it in Sibelius. Okay, one more uh, tip I figured out is that you it's nice that Sibelius understands which tonality we are in, so it really chose the right notes actually. And if you, for example, just want to record this on one staff, um, you can just do it by just clicking on this staff record and then it will only record it in this um, staff oh this was not timed well but well now you also understand why i had my sync button on in the midi preferences because it's to me still a mystery how or why we can't sync a midi clock from sibelius to ableton or the other way around if anyone knows this, please let me know because it would make this even, even better. I, I have searched for a long time and I can't find it and I don't understand why this is not available in this software. And if you want to help me with my YouTube account, just uh, hit the subscribe button and the like button and then YouTube likes me more. So thanks for that. I hope you, this tutorial worked and uh, hope it's helpful to you and if you make some cool music then share it with us in the comments so we can all listen to it this was uh, link sibelius to ableton for nerds and uh, have a great day